today we're going to do some more ride along with Dana the fireman. What that is, I'm going to be riding and then I'm going to be showcasing all the different hazards. Now today's special because the sun is going down. It is 502 and I'm going to be going within traffic within the city. So this is going to be like one of those scenarios where you're getting off work or you're going somewhere during this rush hour type of time. So a lot of people are going to be coming home from work and it's going to be, you know, they're going to be tired and all that stuff. And then also we're going to have to deal with visibility changes. So thankfully I brought, or at least I thought about it, uh, the clear shield and that's going to be helping me out when I'm going to be reduced with visibility because there's not enough light. So let's go ahead and jump into it. We got 17 minutes to my destination. So you're going to ride with me. So much like the other videos where I talk about uh, white, yellow, orange, red, and now brown stage. Um, right now I am in the yellow stage. So I'm actually relaxed. I'm looking around. Okay. This is not that bad. I see my exits over there. I don't have to go that way. I'm going to be taking a right handed turn. It looks like it's going to be, uh, uh, the median in the way. So I'm not going to have to deal with too much, uh, cross traffic on that one. Um, parking lots can't be dangerous, man. You got to be careful, you know, situate yourself in a good spot so that you know how to get in and out. Let's go ahead and put traction control on. And let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so slow speed stuff. This is where it's very important. Look both ways. Very good, because I'm looking for any cross traffic for that. All right, so we got a one way. So typically with one ways, we're only going to have to deal with one direction of uh, travel, which is going to be this way. So when I'm just getting to a stop, I'm going to position myself in a good spot to where I could just take off. This is easy for me, but you can also position yourself here and take off that way. But also watch out for the gravel. You notice how it's like a V pattern. So that's stuff you got to watch out for. You don't want to park your bike in there because if you try to take off quickly and you're not paying attention too much to your throttle control, it could slide out from underneath you. So looks like I'm coming up, making sure I have my indication on. I'm going to go ahead and creep up. This is called opening up the view. So now I get a better line of sight to traffic coming my way. So it's a green light for them. So that means we got people coming. Yellow light's good. Look both ways still, just in case there's like a stopped car. All right. Brake lights coming up ahead. That's where we're gonna have to be a little bit cautious about 35 miles an hour. I see that there's some arrows in the right lane. So that means this lane has to merge. And it's best to do that as soon as you possibly can as a motorcyclist. Now there's all this debate about zipper merging versus everyone getting in this line because no one should cut. Zipper merging is actually way better. It really is. But this isn't one of those situations where I want to zipper merge because if I'm stuck right here, that means people can't go and turn right. So that's not a good thing. So when I'm slowing down, I'm looking at my mirrors. There's a car coming up behind me and I'm going to go ahead and position myself off to the side. Okay. So hopefully, and I'm thinking out in, in, in terms of what I would do if I was coming up to this, like super fast, like the car behind me, if they stopped, but if I was coming up super fast, I have an escape path to the right. So instead of slamming the brakes and possibly hitting this Tucson, Hyundai Tucson, hey, I'm in Tucson, I would swerve to the right and hoping, I'm hoping they would do the same. So that's why I'm off to the left. So if they swerve to the right to miss everybody, they're not going to hit me, hopefully. All right, here we go. I don't have a pinlock system, so I got some fogging going up. I didn't put any anti-fog spray. So here is a bad situation. See, I'm opening up the view and I'm increasing my space cushion. I let them take off and it gives me a better line of sight. If you need to, rewind it. So this is a single lane road, pretty bad road. It's not too bad actually, but still not good. Single lane road with an escape path to the left. Going to wave to my breath. I don't know him, but he's a breath. I have an escape path right here as this turn lane. And then I also have a bike lane to the right if I absolutely had to swerve all the way across, okay? But I'm still keeping a good space cushion and I have good line of sight. So I can see all the way to the intersection, every single car. I can see when they start applying the brakes. And if you notice, when somebody applies the brakes, you kind of like put a marker right there. And you're going to notice that everybody, once they pass that spot, is going to apply the brakes. Now this guy, I want to go ahead and present myself just a little bit. Hey, I'm moving. You know, I'm moving the headlight because I didn't want him to merge with me, like in front of me. Because then I would have had to slam the brakes. But thankfully, I have decent <laughs> physical skills when it comes to emergency braking. I mean, you can always improve. So once again, ah! It's been a while. Once again, I'm going to go ahead and situate myself to the to the side. Now this one, there's no real escape path other than to the left, but I'm already here and I want to be able to see everybody coming and I position myself to the side. Hopefully they just slam into the back of this Jeep instead of me. Lane filtering is not legal in Arizona, so that's the best I could possibly do when it comes to that. So we got a turn, uh, a car turning right here. I'm looking to the right. Anybody turning right in front of me? Nope, nope, nope. Okay. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and get through the intersection and then now I'm gonna go ahead and let this person go. So I'm gonna present myself a little bit to this car right here. Okay, nobody turning left in front of me, good. Okay, so it says 27th Street. I'm looking at those green signs. Those green signs definitely let me know that that's a through street. Uh, whether it's in a neighborhood or not, that means that there's a uh, good, good, <laughs> good possibility that there's a car there. So, okay, so that's not a threat, that's just parked there. Now, see, I got a really big space cushion. I don't care about the vehicles behind me, I care about the vehicles in front of me. At the end of the day, the statistics say that the striking vehicle is the motorcyclist, so I'm gonna give myself as much room as possible. That red vehicle is kind of making me a little nervous a little bit. I'm looking at the tires. I'm also looking left, looking right, looking left, looking right. Okay, very good. So it's a green light, but I see brake lights, and I'm gonna maintain my space cushion because uh, they close the gap. Okay, so we got a, quite a bit of hazards here. I'm gonna keep an eye on it. I saw a bump in the white vehicle, getting situated with that, so I'm not surprised. That was a big intersection. I, I saw the vehicle in front of me lift up with like a bump. That gave me a good indication that, hey, something's coming up. Um, maybe I need to lift my butt up a little bit and go over an obstacle. An obstacle is anything that's gonna push my butt up to me. That's how I feel. Um, I also had somebody turning left and I just had to really be ca uh, careful and I was just vom word vomiting out of my brains. So I'm definitely in orange mode. <laughs> I'm definitely in orange mode. Okay, so these people are gonna stay there. And another thing that you can do, and this is actually really cool when it comes to a lot of traffic, there's pros and cons. Pros, well, let's start with cons. Cons, there's just a lot to look out for. What you really need to focus on is maintaining your space cushion so you have time to react. Also have at least one escape path, at least one escape path. So remember, uh, space cushion, one escape path. And then the other one is that you need to pay attention to anybody that could be getting into your path of travel. So that's intersections or people merging. And that's it. That's all you have to care for and pay attention to. And each and every one of those things involves good visibility. And that's very important. So make sure you have really good visibility. All right. So I felt comfortable here because I have a good space cushion. People are starting to apply the brakes. I see a bunch of people. We got somebody turning left. Let's go ahead and make sure to take a look at their eyes and their tires. Good, good, good. We have a red light coming up. I'm going to go ahead and get in this lane. That way, once again, there is an option for somebody to swerve right just in case something happens, okay? Uh, we have a fire truck up ahead. Now, I'm going to go ahead and talk a little bit about that since it is a special occasion. Okay, buddy. Uh, with fire trucks, remember, there's people that uh, they do what's called rubbernecking. So if we have vehicles in front of us or behind us, we have to be very careful because there's going to be a good chance that they're going to be staring at that truck trying to see what's happening over there. They want to see cool, fancy things that are out of the ordinary, and they're going to stare at it, target fixate. Well, when they do that, and if, say, see there's a bunch of uh, tail lights and brake lights up ahead, if I'm stopped at a light and they're looking at that vehicle, they're gonna crash right in front of me. So you have to be extra careful even around vehicles like that on the side of the road or anything crazy. So make sure you pay attention. So that's another high risk area, okay? So that grate right there, you definitely don't wanna stop on that. Just in case you put your foot down and it slides. That's my biggest worry. So we're gonna sit here, we're gonna take a look while we're having to wait. So we got a vehicle behind me protecting me. Oops, let's go ahead and turn off the turn signal. Thanks for not letting me know, guys. All right, green light. So we got to be careful with this black vehicle. I'm going to utilize the vehicles around me. So that's where I was going to go to the pros. So the cons of, of high traffic is all those things. Like pros is that you can utilize traffic like this vehicle right here as like, okay, well, if you don't see me, you know, because there's no traffic, if you don't see me because I'm such a small profile, I'm going to stick with like big bro right here or next to me, anybody next to me and utilize them as, hey, look at him. I'm going to be next to him. You know, like like a lamprey with a shark, you know? Nobody cares about the lamprey. Everybody cares about looking at the shark. So it protects me. That's the way I'm gonna look at it. Okay, so we got this vehicle that might come out to the right. So I'm gonna go ahead and present myself. And once again, I don't think they will because there's just a massive amount of traffic. They might not shoot the gap, but just in case they do, I had an escape path to the left. And I also had one, you know, braking, basically. Acceleration and braking. Okay, so we got a bunch of lights, making sure nobody's behind me. I'm gonna go ahead and switch lanes because you'll see why right here. See how this vehicle sticks out a little bit more? So if somebody slams into something, I'm kind of protected around three corners instead of four. Hey, it's a dog. All right, here we go. What's up, buddy? Hey. So once again, I'm gonna give myself a good view. Now this vehicle is gonna be seen before I am, and these people are not gonna go because they see these vehicles. So I'm utilizing them as a way to be seen. Now, 
Don't know if anybody's going to be shooting the gap behind me to get to this uh, intersection. Nope. Okay. So I'm, I'm, nobody's behind me, but that means I'm not covered. Okay. What is everybody doing? Just double checking everything. Now this might be typical traffic for you. It definitely might be. And it's going to get darker and darker and darker and darker. So I'm looking to my mirrors. I got a black Nissan, I think, behind me. Okay, so they, I see that they started slowing down and they're maintaining space cushions, that's good. So this person right here, I don't know if they're gonna turn over to me. Nope, okay, they're gonna accelerate. Okay, nobody's coming, no pedestrians. All right, we got vehicles right here. It looks like they're trying to merge the, the traffic going the other way, so we should be good here. We got a, a vehicle might wanna turn in front of me, but I doubt they will. They might turn after me. This vehicle right here might shoot the gap to me. And that was, a, that was a situation where if I had to, I couldn't swerve left and I definitely couldn't swerve right if that Honda Fit came into my lane. What I would do is accelerate and then I would move to the left side if I had to or just keep accelerating. Okay, so we have vehicles, 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 pedestrians, pedestrians going through cautiously now that I'm getting out of the intersection, get out of the intersection. Okay, all right. So that was, uh, that's U of A right there. That's University Drive. A lot of people, a lot of people. All right, seven more minutes until we get to cycle gear for bike night. So we got this guy to my right. Uh, I do not know what he's going to do. I doubt he's going to switch to my lane because he has his window down, but he can't hear me because he's got headphones in. But I'm not going to uh, accept anything if he tries to get into my lane. I'm going to swerve to the left because I have an escape path. All right, so I got a Mustang behind me. Okay, looks like they're slowing down. And yeah, they're, they see me. They're slowing down. So if anything happens, like if they get hit, hopefully they don't run into me. But you know, that's just the, that's why we're geared just in case something like that happens. But the best thing that you could possibly do is move off to the side just in case that hopefully they clip you and not crush you. I'd rather be clipped than crushed. All right. So once again, it's a big line. You never know. Sometimes people are just like, I don't want to turn left. I'm going to get in the straightaway. So these big trucks are a little bit easier to manage because they don't just gun it for little things. They, they make sure they have a big open spot to go and turn left in front of. All right, so the vehicle is not gonna turn, okay. So I'm, I'm right here, what I'm doing is I'm getting a good look at over everything. So I can see over everybody, I see brake lights coming up. So I don't know why everyone's applying the brake lights, but what I'm doing is I'm maintaining my space cushion. They can apply the brakes or slow down, and if I just maintain 30 and they go 25, then I will catch up to them and my space cushion is gone. Now, let's say somebody's behind me and they're tailgating my ass, now I'm pretty much trapped. So what I do is I like to make sure I have a good space cushion, and if, they're, if they all of a sudden go from 35 to 25, I'm going 35 to 25, unless I feel like, you know, this is too slow, it's dangerous for me, I'll switch lanes. So we got this vehicle right here. I don't know if they see me. I'm a little bit blinded by the LEDs, just the way it is. All right, so we got this vehicle, nobody turning left. So every intersection, guys, I am looking at the people turning left in front of me and then people that might turn right into my path of travel. That's what I'm looking for. That's, that's, that's what you should look for. Um, quite typically, any type of road debris or anything like that that's in the intersection is already kicked away by these vehicles up ahead. So I'm not too concerned about road debris or road damage or anything like that. If I have to, I can get out of the way, but I'm looking to the people turning left in front of me and then the people turning right in front of me from the cross streets over here. All right, so this is Grant. We're almost there, three minutes, one mile away. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So right here we have two lanes. I'm looking at the signs. We have two lanes to turn left. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick, I'm already gonna have to go into the right lane when I get onto Grant. So I'm gonna stay in this lane. So right here, you notice how there's like this gore area and then there's this just regular area. Well, I'm gonna stick off to the gore area as much as I can. I'm gonna utilize that space. Now, I'm not gonna get in it, and I'll definitely make sure I check because there could be road debris and a bunch of like nails and stuff in there, so I'm gonna probably ride the line pretty good. This also gives me a good view of oncoming traffic if I have to just go, like if I'm in the intersection, go. If I'm over here, a vehicle could be blocking my line of sight. So we got a green arrow, but just because we have a green arrow doesn't mean that people don't run run light. So I always do a double check and I always look right here for anybody wanting to turn right in front of me. I was supposed to go in the first available lane, but it was open. <laughs> We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. So we got that vehicle right there, but they're not going to turn because they see that white truck. So I'm good there. So 
it's really nice to have this spot, especially on this road, because I got a bike lane and I got a bunch of stuff that I can utilize. So once again, I'm maintaining space cushion, looking over here, looking behind me, okay, everything's good. I have a bike lane if I have to escape and I can escape more to the left within my lane or all the way to the left across lanes. So another intersection, everything looks good. At no point am I rushing to get from point A to point B. I'm already 17 minutes late, but you know what? I don't care. I wanted to chat with you guys and make an awesome video with you. So thank you guys for being so patient. I'm not leaving yet. Don't worry, I'm not leaving yet. Not leaving yet. All right. So right here, once again, utilize the gore line. This is actually the, the bike lane, but I'm gonna utilize it. Now I'm gonna keep an eye on this uh, infinity behind me. And I'm always gonna point my nose where I could escape. Now I'm in second gear, so I'm gonna go ahead and put myself in the first gear. And if I had to, I can go ahead and gun it. But at the end of the day, my biggest concern is making sure that person is actually slowing down. If not, I'll just creep over to the right and boom, they run into this uh, blue uh, Toyota. All right. Cycle gear, boom, boom. Right here is on MTC. Look at that, they're here. They are the people I work with. Amazing people. Oh, that's a bus lane. So that right there is 17 minutes. I'm gonna utilize the bike lane so I can get out of the traffic. 17 minutes of in-town travel at five o'clock during a work day, okay? Oh, and then speed bumps right here. Definitely can practice. You're going over an obstacle. Boop, boop. Very easy. All right, guys, I'm gonna be heading out. Thank you so much for staying with me and I'll be seeing you around.